All right, it is another week. It is time for a training. This week, last week we talked about transition month and what we need to do for transition. This week we're going to kind of piggyback off of that. And we're really going to, it's back to school time. We're gonna take ourselves back to school, okay? We are going to take things back to basics in our business. I think this is where I see a lot of consultants kind of get tripped up when it comes to working their business, right? We can tend to kind of get caught up in comparing ourselves and trying to do all of the things that we see everybody else doing and it can be very overwhelming. It can be very unrealistic, honestly, right? Like it, it can be unrealistic to try and do all of the things that we see other people doing. Finishing up that protein drink for the day. Um, so that's kind of where I wanted to talk today because I've really, it, it's, it's weighing on my heart today of really trying to bring things back to basics and just keeping it simple. So I thought, you know, it's back to school time. So let's take ourselves back to school. So let's roll right into this. Okay. Um, first and foremost, let's focus on building good habits and consistency so that we can be successful in our business. Um, you guys have, a lot of you guys have responded back to who wanted to promote this month. All right. So I'm excited for that. That training is coming up tomorrow. So get ready for that. That training is going to roll out and, um, yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Like I'm excited about this one. Now I, I know I get excited about trainings in general, but this one is like, chef's kiss. I love it. And I'm excited for you guys to see it. So be watching for that. But really being consistent in our business means bringing it back to basics, keeping things simple, right? When we get on Facebook in the, in the Facebook groups, even on social media, right? So if you, if you are following other people and sense the other consultants on Instagram or Pinterest and you know, all of these things, right? You're going to see amazing mind-blowing things right that people are doing in their businesses whether that comes to creating like mystery boxes or their own sub subscription type boxes um, doing these great bundles deliveries even packaging orders right um, creating back to school bundles all of all of these things those are all fantastic and great and I love seeing the inspiration I love getting excited about those things, but I really have to remind myself that for me personally, when it comes to my business, if I start to really dig into that, I get very overwhelmed, right? Like I get, I get overwhelmed, not only because I'm like, oh, well now I need to figure out how to do this, right? So then I take the time to figure out either how to do that mystery box or how to put together that, that personal special. And then how do I get people set up for that? Right? Okay. Well now I got to create a form or like a, a thing that people can fill out or I need to go live and I need to reach out to my customers and I need to make a list of who's going to get this. And then I need to get the list of the supplies needed to do whatever it is that I'm making. Right. Do I need to go to Amazon? Do I need to go to Dollar Tree? What do I need to do to get all of the things to be able to make this that I'm going to be able to create and send out? And then I need to have the time to do the thing. Right. And then I need to have the time to either mail it out or make time for the deliveries of those. If you put all of that together, that is extremely overwhelming. <laughs> okay. I'm getting a little bit of anxiety just thinking about the whole process. So if your passion and your time and your business budget says, yes, 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 I'm totally in for all these things, then by all means do those things do those passion projects, make those things, do those things, rock it out. Okay. I personally, because I find it just very overwhelming to just even get ready to do those things. It just, it puts me in this almost like f flight or, f or I don't want to say fight, but you know what I mean? Like that, that moment where I'm just like, oh, well, I, I can't, you know, I, I give up. I can't do this. Well, obviously that's not going to work for me. And then all that time was wasted. So what I really like to focus on keeping things 
really on where is my business right now? Where am I at currently in my business, right? Am I in the space in my business to have the extra money to create all of these great things to send out? Maybe, maybe not. Do I have the time to sit down and actually make all those things happen? Maybe, maybe not, okay? Um, if those things are not something that is going to fit into your time and your business budget, then you don't have to do all of those things to be successful in your business, okay? We can push all of that to the side. Let, let the people do what they wanna do and then be inspired by it. And then maybe go, you know what? At some point, I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna write this down. Or I'm gonna save this whole video or screenshot this. And I'm gonna, you know, next time that I'm looking and I've got the time and I've got the opportunity to be able to do those things, that's what I wanna do. I wanna put that up on my future to-do list, right? Um, I actually have a little, on my Pinterest, I have, uh, I have a little uh, board, a private board, that I save things like that into. I do, and, and not only is it just sensey stuff, I will say it's also like recipes and all of that, right? Like all those cool things that I see on there. Sometimes it's even home decorating or decor, right? Like what do I wanna do? Those are the things that are like, that. that's in my future, I wanna do that list, okay? That's just sitting over there on the back burner. But I need to, in order to be successful, in order to be, moving forward in my business every single month, I've got to stay focused on where I am today, right? And today, I don't have time for all of the passion projects, okay? I have time to be able to focus on my follow-up. I want to hit my PRV goal for the month. I want to hit my sponsoring goal for the month. And I have a goal that by the end of the year, my personal goal, and this is a lofty goal, so, if I aim for it, okay, I'm either gonna miss it or I'm gonna hit it, okay? But either way, I'm gonna still move forward. And that goal is to promote to superstar director. For me, that is the next promotion. That's the final promotion I can get, right? So that's a big point for me and my business. That's where I'm at in my business right now. So where are you in your business? Are you looking to promote to certified consultant? Have you just recently joined? Did you rejoin? Are you relaunching your business? Are you getting excited back again into Sensi? Because, you know, hey, this is our busiest time of year, folks. Fall and winter is it. Okay, let me just tell you, if this is your first season, buckle up because it's going to be a doozy and it's going to be flipping fantastic. Okay, I know you guys have already seen the spoilers and all of the things coming, right? So we've got a lot on the horizon. But what we have to do is stay focused in where our business is today in order to be ready for that next season. So we've got to take this time, this month in particular, right? It's transition month. Again, we've already covered that. We talked about that last week in our training. So if you missed that, you can go back on the YouTube channel. I think it's still here in the group page too, but you can go back and you can catch that training all about transition um, and preparing for the fall season. But... In this month, we have the opportunity to really, again, set ourselves up for success, right? And a lot of that has to do with just bringing it back to basics, keeping things simple, okay? We don't have to be doing all of the amazing extra stuff. Again, if we've got the time, if we've got the opportunity, awesome. Otherwise, let's just keep it focused and intentional, okay? I'm busy. Okay, between work, between school, my daughter's going to high school, my husband's schedule, taking care of the house, doing all of the things, right? I've got a lot to focus on. And so I have to be really intentional with my business and when I'm working my business. So one of the things that I do to, that is a consistent habit that is just worked into my business that helps me to stay on track to hit my PRV goals, to be able to earn that paycheck, right? Because that's what I got to do every month. Every month, we all start back at zero. I don't care who you are, where you're at in this journey, what your business looks like. But I'm telling you from a 13-year veteran in the world of Sensi, every single month, we all start back over at zero, okay? So we have to prepare every single month for what we're going to be doing. So I make a plan, I, I literally write out, it's, I don't wanna say it's a business plan, but it is, it's my business plan for each month. 
and it's not really that complicated okay it's really just a list okay it's just in my planner and I write down what is my PRV goal what is my sponsoring goal what do I want to focus on when it comes to training my team and my group and how am I helping other consultants outside of our team and our group, right? What am I doing out of there? Because I do like to help contribute to the overall Sensi community. It's, it's one of the pieces of the passion that I have with Sensi is helping all consultants regardless of where they are. But I have to be ready, right? I have to know what I'm focusing on. I have to know what I'm going to be doing. So I have to make that business plan at the beginning of the month. I have to know where that PRV is going to come from. So one of the things that I really look at is what Sensi Clubs, if you've got Sensi Club subscribers, you can go to your workstation and you can actually go into Sensi Club and you can see what subscriptions are going to be running this month, okay? So then I can look to see, okay, here's the subscriptions that are gonna be running this month, here's the estimated PRV, that if all of these subscriptions run, this is where I'll be with PRV. Outside of that, what do I need to focus on to hit my PRV goal, okay? Now, for me personally, I find that with my customers and the way that I work my business, which the majority is through social media, um, because I don't have like a whole lot of local customers. We, I don't do home parties, even though I'd love to. Um, I just haven't done one in so long because I just, I don't have customers who either A, have the time or B, are local enough, close enough for me to actually do a home party. Um, so for those of you who do, I'm so jelly, okay? I am so jelly, I wish I could. Because I have so many, I've, I've got ideas out there on my future me board, right? Like that's there, okay? But I just, I don't have that. So for a lot of my customers who are also very busy, whether they're moms with kids, younger kids and, and older kids, um, grandkids, um, you know, it's back to school time too. They've got jobs, they've got other things that they're doing in their lives, right? For me, it just is really easier for me to set up shopping links for my customers. Now, what is a shopping link? If you're unaware of what a shopping link is, it's truly just setting up a party link in your workstation for a customer, okay? So you can call it a shopping link. You can call it an affiliate link. You can call it a VIP shopping link. I Get creative, right? If you really need some creative wording, then I'm gonna tell you what Texas would tell me, and that would be go on to chat GPT, okay? Find yourself a little catchy catchphrase that you want to use to rename it, whatever you wanna do, okay? But you can have a lot of fun with that. That also helps too when you're looking for captions for social media. So if you're on Facebook or Instagram or even on TikTok or you wanna do a video, you wanna do a reel, and you're like, what do I say? How do I say it? How do I make it sound cute and festive and fun or whatever? Use ChatGPT, okay? You can find some really great stuff that way. Um, we can even have Texas come on and give us a little, you know, best tips of how to use ChatGPT because let me tell you, that woman is a pro at ChatGPT, okay? Um, but this is how we are able to set, or this is how I'm able to set up those shopping links, right? And have those parties which is really what they are, right? And have those booked in on the calendar. So when I'm reaching out to my customers, I am reaching out to my customers and I'm saying, hey, here's the deal. I wanna be able to get you the Sensi that you want and I want you to be able to save the most money when you're getting the Sensi that you want, right? So how do we do that? How do I save you the most money? Well, I've got two different options for you. I can set up a shopping link for you and then as soon as you get to a minimum of 200, in PRV, I don't, I don't think I actually tell them PRV, I just say a minimum of 200 in orders is what I tell them because that's what they understand. Um, but I keep track of it, I know where they're at. Once you get to that minimum, then you're gonna unlock product credit, so you get free product credit to use towards the Sensi that you wanna get, and you unlock half price rewards. So let's get you some half price Sensi, let's get you some free product credit. So I'm just gonna, I've created this shopping link for you. Here's the link. Every time you place an order, use your own link. Use this link. Yes, go to my website, but click on your name. And again, I keep it simple, okay? I used to be really creative with it and be like, oh, this is Stephanie's uh, mid-year party or whatever, like, you know, no. I, I, okay, I just literally name it their name. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's the name of the party, okay? Go on my site, click on your name. That's where you shop, right? And then share this link on your social media. Send it to your friends, send it to your family. If you know somebody who wants to order Scentsy, because every time somebody orders through your link, it's going to also add to your total which means you're gonna just get even more product credit to use. You're gonna get more half price rewards to be able to use. Now, this is important for every single month, right? This is how I do my business every single month. However, in transition month, this kind of works double time for me because what I'm able to really talk to them about when I'm having this message or text or conversation, right? Is saying all of that and then letting them know, hey, we can keep this link open. I can set it to stay open for 90 days for you. That's three months, people, three months, okay, that that link can be open. I'm gonna set this up for up to 90 days, okay, because I want to give you enough time to be able to hit that goal, to get that those rewards, right? But if we hit that goal by September 1st, guess what? You can use those rewards towards the brand new things in the catalog. That brand new warmer that you got your eyes on, those brand new scents that are coming out, OMG, that new Scentsy Go, you're gonna love that. It is so convenient, it even runs on batteries. Oh my gosh, you're gonna want that, okay? This is a perfect time. Let's set up your shopping link, and then when September rolls around, we get to close it out, and boom, you get to pick what you want and use those rewards. So that's how it can work double time for you in this month, right? So have those conversations with your customers. Keeping it simple, we're just using what Scentsy already gives us, right? We're not doing anything special. We're not creating some big, huge um, put together program or anything, right? We're just keeping it simple for our customers. Um, another really great thing that is going to help us towards that consistency and building those good habits is of course talking about Scentsy Club. I talk about Scentsy Club with every single customer. Now during transition month, and I, I'm pretty sure, I'm, I know I talked about it during the transition video from last week, but Scentsy Club, right? Scentsy Club, Scentsy Club, Scentsy Club, Scentsy Club. First of all, it's going to save your customers money right? Okay. Because they get flat shipping. They earn rewards points for every single dollar they spend. Every time their club runs, they get rewards points. Now we, as consultants, we can have Sensi clubs too. We just don't get the rewards points. Okay. That's the only piece we don't get. That's exclusive to customers. So that's where it's, it's really special for our customers to have those rewards and they can use those rewards towards future purchases or towards their future Sensi club subscriptions when it runs, right? So they get money off. Again, win-win for our customers. How can I save them the most money? That's what I focus on. But especially this month, right? When it is transition month, when we have scents that are discontinuing that our customers probably are in love with, right? We're gonna be looking at our discontinued list. You can find this in your workstation. If you go to the planning ahead guide or the consultant planning guide for August, it's on the news tab. It's like the second one from the top on the news tab. Click on that, scroll down to the bottom of the page and you'll see this page and you just click the download button, you can download it and you can then save it if you're on your phone, save it to your phone. Print, I print it out because I like to doodle all over mine. I've got like three different copies of these where I've highlighted things for different customers and I work off of it, okay? This is like my working list, but I just literally print it out. But this lists for me every single thing that is going away August 31st. So now I know what I wanna focus on. I know that all of these products are going away. I know all these scents are going away. These scent pack scents, the pod scents, right? Everything is right here. So this stays with me. Again, I got have a copy that I keep on my phone. So even if I'm somewhere and I'm just working from my phone, I keep it in my binder system. You guys know that's kind of like the way that I work my business. I also have my, I use my iPad, so I do a digital planner. So I actually have it downloaded in my iPad as well. So again, I can work from it on there got it on my desktop. I keep it here on my desk, right? So all of these ways, so I always have access to this. This is like my go-to during transition month. Everything that I'm doing is focused on this list. So when I'm following up with my customers, when I'm looking to post things on social media, I'm thinking of this month, right? That's part of my business plan for this month, for August, is how do I work my PRV this month? 
this is how, right? I'm really focused on these items. Yes, I'm excited for what's coming, but right now I'm focused on these items that are getting ready to leave. I want my customers to know that these are the things leaving. I don't want them guessing. I don't want them surprised. I especially don't want them coming like the first week of September and getting a text or getting a message on Facebook that says, hey, Jackie, I want to place an order. Oh, and I wanted to get that warmer. I wanted to get the God is great warmer. I really, I've been, I've had my eye on that warmer and I want that. And then I want um, the, the mini fan diffuser in the cheetah print. I really want that. I've loved that. I saw yours and I really wanted it. Guess what? As of September 1st, those two things are going away, right? So if I didn't have that conversation with that customer, what's gonna happen? That customer's gonna be a little upset, right? They're gonna be a little let down. Now, of course, there's other great things they're gonna be able to order, but again, my focus is on my customers. How can I save them the best money? How can I get them the sensei that they want? So that's where I keep my focus, right? If I'm consistent in remembering those two things every time I'm having a follow-up, every time I'm posting on social media, every time I'm going live or doing a TikTok or a reel or whatever it is for my business, where's my business plan? What am I focusing on this month? Now, doesn't mean that I won't pepper in some sneak previews as to what's to come, but for the most part, this is my focus for this month, right? So keeping up those things in your business, just keep it simple. Do what you can do every single month. Another thing that I want to talk about on really just kind of bringing it back to basics is when you are creating your business plan, right? When you're sitting down at the beginning of the month, even if that's today, right? It's the fifth of the month, but sit down. If you haven't already done one, sit down, get a piece of paper, get a notebook, do it on digital, do it in Canva, get fancy with it, right? I have a dry erase board. You guys know my dry erase board. This is my visual go-to. Every time I walk in my office, what do I see? I see this board. So I have up here the LTOs and the dates that those LTOs are dropping. Um, I have like, I've got news. I don't even know if you can read it up there. It's probably backwards too. I'm sorry. Um, it says like new season sales kits, transition business supplies, right? Like that's from a business perspective of what's going on. Then I've got what's going on in the business itself, right? 10% off almost everything. Last call, spring and summer, discontinued list. I told you that's part of my business plan. Sensi Club, lock in, right? I'm talking Sensi Club because I want them locking in their sense that are going away. And then you guys know, cause I talked about this too, right? I am going to be a superstar director or sorry, not going to be, I will be a superstar director because that is my personal focus right now, right? That is my next and final promotion with Sensi. Remember, we're keeping these things very visual. So what is your goal? Is your goal certified? Is your goal hitting lead? Okay, then if we wanna hit lead, we have to at least have one team member. So you have to be focused on sponsoring. Now sponsoring, okay, this is how we're going to be talking about sponsoring going forward, right? Now this month we do have a join special, okay? A join special, it's just an added with the new bars in the actual kit, okay? But here's the other thing, even when we don't have a join special, join special during the month, right? Every single month, 365 days a year, since he gives us a join special, did you know this? It is available all the time. And that is the host exclusive starter kit. Okay. The host exclusive starter kit is available year round. Okay. Every single time that a party reaches that minimum of 200 and it unlocks the host rewards, it also unlocks a host exclusive kit. Now that kit then becomes available and it unlocks it, right? That kit is $59. So if you have someone who has been thinking about joining Sensi, those are the kits that you wanna be offering if maybe they either A, don't want to have the full kit, they really don't need the full kit, or B, they that $99 price point is just a little too much for them. The $59 price point is definitely a way to 
save them money. Remember, that's the focus, okay? How can I save them money? If they wanna be a consultant, how can I help them to save money to become a consultant? It's that host exclusive kit. That's the best way to be able to do that. And that's available every single month, okay? Now with that host exclusive kit, if they are the hosts of the party, then what you can do is actually apply the product credit because let's just, and I'm not gonna get into too much math because I'm not a math person either, okay? So if you're not either, don't feel bad. I'm in the same boat with you, okay? I rely on my husband. He can do like numbers in his head. I don't do that, I just don't. Uh, <laughs> it's not how my brain works. <laughs> but this I remember. Once you hit that 200 minimum party, or shopping link, whatever it is that you're using, right? Not only do you unlock the host rewards, you unlock a host exclusive kit. You earn product credit, you earn 10% product credit, that's a, the host reward, right? That's, it's written in the, the party and, and every, single, every single catalog, right? Okay, it's 10%. 10% of 200 is $20. Okay, so they're automatically earning that $20 as a host reward that they can use towards anything in the catalog. They can also use that $20 towards the host exclusive kit. So that now takes that host exclusive kit that has now been unlocked because you hit 200 or they did, right? They hit 200. So now that $59 kit is there. Take $20 off of $59 now that kit is only $39, $39. And that's just a straight 200 PRV party total. Now, if it's more than 200, obviously the product credit's going to be more. So if you get it higher and they're really working to get it with no out-of-pocket costs, then by all means, keep working with them. Let's keep bringing in those orders. Let's keep your, your link going. Let's keep your party going, right? Let's keep that going to get you to where that way that product credit equals $59 and then that way they're not paying anything for it, right? Or they're maybe paying even less than that, maybe less than $39. So that is a really great way to sponsor, okay? So if we're looking to hit lead, we have to sponsor. So lead or above, sponsoring is the focus. If you are here to make a business income, whether it's part-time income, full-time income, whatever income, sponsoring is how you're going to do it. Sponsoring is what is going to push your business into that level of success to where you want to be. It's going to help you hit those goals. And again, remember, we are just working with what Sensi is giving us. We are keeping it simple. We are back to basics right now. That doesn't even include if you're doing extra special things and, and making up your own things and, and using ideas from other consultants, right? This is literally just back at basics with our business. This is how. Now, when we do this consistently, every single month, every single month you are sitting down, you are making a business plan. What is my PRV goal for the month? What is my sponsoring goal for the month? What am I focusing on this month? What are the LTOs coming? What are the special, if they're specials, right? Like this month, almost everything is 10% off, right? I've got discontinued items that I'm really focused on. That's part of my business plan, right? So that's what August looks like for me. So sit down and really take five minutes, 10 minutes to write that down. Put it in the notes app of your phone, write it on your planner, write it on a piece of paper, write it on a post-it note. Put it up in the bathroom mirror, hang it wherever it is that you sit down and work your business, but just do it. Because every single month when you do those things, what's going to happen? You're gonna automatically know every time when it's time to work your business, these are the things that I'm focused on this month. This is what I'm working on this month, right? Now, when we get closer to the end of the month, that's when it's time to start looking ahead, right? We wanna start pre-looking ahead for the, the upcoming month. But if we're really intentional about where we are in our business and we're really wanting to promote and move forward and grow our business, then this has to be our baseline. This has to be where we live in our business every single month. So hopefully this has kind of given you a good little roadmap of how to get to the next stop in your journey. The next chapter is coming and it will come if you do the work, right? 
This is not a, I'm going to join Sensi and tomorrow I'm going to be able to quit my job kind of a thing, okay? If it was that, we'd all be doing it. If it was that, it wouldn't be real. Let's be honest, okay? It wouldn't be real. This is, we call this a business because just like anything else in life, right? We don't just do something today and see the success tomorrow. We do something today, we do it tomorrow, we do it the next day, we do it next week, we do it next month. We keep on moving forward with it. And every single time you're going to see your business, you're going to see your numbers continuously increase because you're being consistent, because you're being intentional, and because you are focused on where you want to be going and you've got that business plan in place. So let's bring it back to basics. Let's get things set because this is the time before we roll in to the busy season of the year, right? We want to reset. We want to have a fresh start. We want to be ready for what is coming because again, it's really freaking cool what is coming, okay? <laughs> we have so many amazing things that are coming this way and there are so many things that we haven't even seen yet that I've got. I can't, I can't because I'm under NDA, but let me just tell you, this is the time to get your business ready for what is to come between now and the end of the year. So if you want your business to look different than it is today by the end of the year, this is what we're going to do. If you want to promote and get to certified, to lead, to star, to superstar consultant, to director, who wants to be a director, okay? We can make these things happen and we do it by sticking to basics and being intentional with how we're working it. Who's in with me? Are you guys in with me? Okay. I am excited. I know you guys are too. Tomorrow we've got that great, great training that is going to be rolling out. So be looking forward to that. And of course, we're also going to have our podcast coming out this week too. And I'm super excited to have that coming out. If you guys aren't listening to that yet, you can always catch up with us there um, in the Scented Mashup group. So you guys are welcome because the four leaders, the four of us together, we kind of come together and made that um, mashup group. And so we are here to help every single one of you. We want all of you to succeed because it would be really boring if it was just us doing this. Trust me, it's more fun with all of us doing it together, okay? That's how we like to do things. And we want you guys to be doing it with us. All right, guys, that's what I got for you today. I will see you soon. Bye.